Hi everybody, thanks for joining and in this video I'm gonna explain why I think that the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K is still in 2023 the best entry level cinema camera of all time. Coming up! Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German based cinematographer and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews but also the Vinci Reviews of the world. so if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe, um, that really helps the channel and since most of the viewers are not subscribed, so if you're coming back and you like the videos, um, that really would help the channel grow, so thank you. Um, yeah, so in my career I've used um, multiple brands from cinema cameras, naming from RED or Canon, Sony or even Ari and also um, Blackmagic. So I used the Ursa, I used also the Pocket 6K which was my first entry level cinema camera and now on a daily basis I'm using basically RED and Canon. And I recently purchased, or a few months ago, the Pocket 4K. Mainly because I have, or we have in our production company, um, yeah, some reoccurring jobs where we have like filming big events and we have like three to four mobile cameras, but we also need one or two cameras that are constantly rolling and just filming the stage and for this reason the Pocket 4K is perfect but also um, for normal jobs, corporate videos, um, travel videos, um, film narrative work, documentaries, you name it. Um, and the reason why I think so is mainly because of the pure image quality of the camera. Sure, the camera shoots 4K 60 and also shoots RAW, which is a big plus and also Apple Pro is, is nice. But the main reason why I think that the image looks really nice and really organic and really filmic, you could say. So, and particularly for that reason, um, I like the camera very much and I even prefer the 4K over the 6K. Um, so yeah, therefore I think this is great and also um, yeah, the Ursa is still a little bit above but uh, from the entire Pocket line I think the Pocket 4K has the best sensor you could say. Um, I only recommend using the camera with a speed booster because mainly I use EF lenses or PL lenses and then you can basically adapt anything here and you also um, have a greater field of view because um, natively you have a micro four thirds mount which is uh, a two, two times crop so and I personally don't like that and with speed booster you gain more light more light is hitting the sensor which is also great for low light and um, yeah you have a, like a 1.3x crop something like that so even better than what the Pocket 6K is natively offering. Now the biggest downside with the Pocket 4K is the battery life still so the Canon uh, so the camera uses uh, LPE6 batteries um, so I think it's great because everybody has flying them around I also have a couple of these but uh, the battery life on the pocket is not the best so you can expect around 30 to maximum 30 min 40 minutes with this battery so personally what I use is a V-mount battery and also recently I was a couple of weeks in Italy uh, where I was doing vacation but I was also there on a job and I wanted to have a small really nimble lightweight rig without any external monitor just a lens and just keep shooting and so what I basically did is just I used a D-tap adapter cable and I have like a little chest bag where I had a little mini V-mount battery inside and the camera was running all day and um, yeah image turned out great what i also would recommend using is like a, a ir cut filter or uv filter because otherwise when using higher stops of nd outside you will face the problem of ir pollution um, which basically will make your shadows turn red so just use an IR cut filter or if you use high quality matte box filters so, such as the element ND filters which I use they also have that already um, kind of built in or they are also like Nisi IR ND filters um, these ones are also pretty great yeah and everything so the shape okay is a DSLR form factor but the price you pay for less than 
at least here in Germany, uh, 1000 euros is just great and you also have um, DaVinci Resolve Studio license included which makes the value even better and I think um, this camera can't be beaten um, in the near future. So um, yeah, the whole ecosystem of Blackmagic is just amazing and therefore I think also from the color signs and everything like that, um, this is the best entry level cinema camera. So and if you wanna start getting more filmmaking or you wanna have a proper film cinema camera, then the best way to use that is the Pocket 4K, I would say. So if you have any further questions, anything, just feel free, drop them in the comments down below and I'm gonna see you in my very next one. Cheers!